Hi, I'm Mahabeni from the American University in Cairo. I'm a professor of practice there where I'm a faculty developer and I also teach an undergraduate course. And I am also the co-facilitator of Equity Unbound. And um, I was so grateful to get this award and so proud because I I love <laughs> the emphasis on my work on social justice and community and care that came out in this award. And I was thinking recently about how when I was finishing up my PhD, uh, one of the issues of being a remote education student, a uh, remote PhD student, is that I didn't have a community of other PhD students to support me. But openness is what supported me to finish my PhD in all kinds of ways. Openness in finding um, openly available material at a time that my country was going through a revolution, I didn't have access to a physical library. Uh, openness in terms of Twitter and some podcasts and some Facebook groups that were PhD students from the UK supporting each other. And that's sort of how I got into openness. Like, oh, openness is so beneficial to me because I couldn't, ha I couldn't have it any other way. And there's so much I learned from the communities I have in open. And a lot of times people are talking about how I create these communities for others. I originally was creating them for myself and I figured that all these things would benefit other people. So I kept doing them and opening them up so that other people could benefit rather than just having one-on-one -on -one relationships with people in private. But there's a lot of private that happens in the openness uh, that helps us build what, what others get to benefit from. And so I have a poem called Open Matters that was recently republished from my blog in, in, an, in, a, in one of Aras Boskert et al's uh, articles that, that have a lot of people authoring it. I'm just going to read a little part of it now. Openness matters differently for those who face walls, for those with no keys, for those with no eyes to see, no voices to speak, no choices to seek. Open matters because sometimes it's the only thing we have, the only thing we have to give. You ask me what open looks like, and I can't tell you, but it's inside my heart. And you ask me why open matters, and I can't tell you because sometimes I see nothing else, nowhere else to go but open. So this is just part of the poem. And I, I... I think the open community in general has a lot of people that I admire for their just the generosity and this generosity without expectation of reciprocity in the moment, which I think is really important about openness. It's about giving without necessarily expecting something in particular in return. And you give because you have so much to give. And there's a beautiful poem by Khalil Gibran about this. They give that they may live or to withhold is to perish. And I think those of us in this community have that openness as a worldview, as an attitude, right? I mean, among the, the things that I've done recently that I'm most proud of is the Mid-Year Festival that I um, co-organized with Mia Zamora and Drissa Sorensen Unruh and a large group of people, including Yasser Tamir, who won the student award. Yasser was a participant in this event uh, last year. And then this year, he was one of the co-organizers. And one of the funny things is Yasser was thanking me for making him a co-organizer. And I said, Yasser, I need to thank you because being a co-organizer, you carried a lot of the load. And so I didn't have to. Um, and this mid-year festival was a three-month-long professional learning journey that anyone could participate in. If you couldn't afford it, you could do it for free. Everything, not everything, but most of it was recorded and posted to YouTube. So even if you weren't part of the event, you could still watch the recordings. Uh, and the idea of it was, you know, during the pandemic, a lot of the conferences were just two or three days. And I'm thinking, if it's going to be online, why do we have to be for two or three days? And now that we're a lot of us back face to face, we don't need to. We have a lot of stuff happening face to face. So we can only be online for an hour or two every day. So this mid-year festival spreads all the events over three months with like one, two events per day, not every day. So you could go to like three events a week and you've done most of what's happening in the conference and in this event. So you don't feel like left out. Um, yeah, and I try to involve my students as much as possible in openness. They develop their own games. They post them on their blogs. They get feedback from others and they get to showcase their games that may be beneficial to others and raise awareness about issues that they care about. I'm going to stop here because I'm just really excited. Congratulations to everyone who's gotten an award and congratulations to everyone who's been nominated because everyone who's been nominated has been doing awesome work. Um, and I'm very proud of all of us. Bye.